Hello and welcome to the advent of automation, your personal 20 day guide to streamlining your BI workflow. This is day seven of our learning journey. And today I would like to show you three different ways Power Automate can trigger a Power BI semantic model refresh. Imagine being able to automatically refresh a semantic model based on the arrival of a new email or by allowing users to click on a button inside the Power BI report or by scheduling a refresh based on a very specific timeline. Today, we are going to cover all these options to ensure our semantic model is always up to date. With that said, let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of data analytics and automation. If this is your first time around here, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss any of my tutorials. It means a lot to me and helps others find content like this. Today, we are going to look at the scheduling limitations in Power BI when it comes to semantic models. Build three separate flows to refresh datasets automatically, instantly, or based on a schedule. And lastly, cover how Power Automate can further enhance the whole ETL process with its flexibility. Wow, we have lots to explore. So let's head over to my machine. Under the settings for a semantic model, we can find the refresh section. Once the refresh schedule is enabled, we will only see two options for frequency, daily or weekly. Regardless of the setup we choose, refresh times are limited to running on the hour or half hour. There are no options to set up refreshes fortnightly, monthly, or for something more complex, such as the last day of the month or the first Monday of the month. Moreover, it's limited to a schedule, as the name suggests. So if you want to refresh a semantic model based on another event, you are out of luck. Or maybe not. You can utilize Power Automate to specify highly flexible refresh options for a Power BI semantic model. As all Power Automate cloud flow types utilize the benefits of connectors, or as I like to call them building blocks, today we are going to build three flows at the same time. On the left third of the screen, you can see a scheduled cloud flow. In the middle, there's an instant cloud flow, and on the right, an automated cloud flow. We are building on our learnings from previous days. For the scheduled cloud flow, I will create a refresh schedule starting on the 1st of December, running daily. Under parameters, I'll define Sydney time as my time zone and select 6, 15 and 21 for the hours and type in 08 and 47 for the minutes. Now we created the schedule, but before adding the next step, let's focus on the instant cloud flow. Here we will start with a Power BI button clicked trigger. Our plan is to set up a flow that runs when a button is clicked in a Power BI report. Wow, that was simple. Now, let's move on to the automated cloud flow. For this demo, I want the automation to run when a new email with a specific subject arrives in my inbox. Once we have the trigger on the canvas, we can fine tune the advanced parameters. For example, adding data processing is done as the subject. Just like that, we set up three different automation types, each with a unique trigger for our flows. The next step for each flow will be the same. Refresh a data set. Whether you use the new designer experience or the old one, this option will show up under the Power BI connector. I know, I know, the Power BI slash Fabric team renamed datasets to semantic model a while ago, but in Power Automate it's still called a dataset, at least at the time of this recording. I expect this will be updated eventually. Patience, you must have, my young Padawan. Once the refresh a dataset step is set up, for all of our automation types, the final step is to select the correct workspace and choose the dataset we want to refresh. And just like that, we are done. I love how straightforward it is to set up three entirely different automation workflows in Power Automate. We don't have to write a single line of code, although if you want a highly specific refresh schedule, some coding might be necessary. Using these connector concepts feels as satisfying as building with Lego blocks. And on that note, let's see why this kind of semantic model refresh is so powerful in a BI workflow. Back to Power Automate. 
Imagine you implemented best practices for data processing and decoupled your Power BI report from Power Query data transformations. In other words, using a Power BI data flow to handle all data transformations before clean data arrives in the report. With Power Automate, we can add steps before the semantic model refresh, such as refreshing a data flow and waiting for its completion, something we covered on day six. Now, our automation is more sophisticated. It starts with a trigger that aligns with data processing logic and business needs, like an email arrival, a button click, or a custom schedule, refreshes the data flow, and finally refreshes the semantic model. Seeing this final flow, you might ask, why isn't there a trigger to wait for a dataset refresh? Well, that's a million dollar question. While there are technical limitations, there are multiple workarounds online that mimics this functionality. Just use your favorite search engine to find videos and blogs that explain these solutions in more detail. Today's objective was to explore how Power Automate can refresh a Power BI semantic model and demonstrate three cloud flows with unique triggers. The ability to change data flow and semantic model refreshes is a huge plus for BI workflows. I hope you enjoyed this series and by the end of December or whenever you complete the learning, you have some great automation ideas to enhance your BI workflow. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below and I do my best to answer them quickly. Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, check out these tutorials to take your data analytics and automation journey to the next level. Until the next one, see ya!